Hello, lords and ladies. Welcome back to Cartoon Hangout, your place for all things cartoon. I've been doing Cartoon Hangout for nearly three years now, so it really shouldn't surprise me that there's been more than a fair share of backlash at the new TMNT cartoon, Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, that Nickelodeon recently revealed two days ago. The art style is turning people off, as well as the character designs and the change in the usual weapons the Teen Turtles have had for countless iterations. As I said in my previous video, I don't actually hate the art. In fact, I kind of like it. It's oddly familiar looking to me, but I can't place another series with this similar style. The only things I don't like is Roided Raph and the ugly character design for April. Those are, so far, all I can see that doesn't sit with me. But back to the fan reaction. It's not surprising, but it'll never stop being disappointing to see, because I have seen it countless times. With shows like Beakle Scooby Doo, American Dragon Season 2, Teen Titans Go, Big Mouth, and more. So many people tend to rush to ultimate judgment on things before ever watching the damn thing. If you watch Rise and you think it's crap, I would respect that way more than if you wrote the series off based on its art alone or just because Raph doesn't have his signature size yet. Which actually brings me to something I saw GameSpot bring up, if incorrectly. Based on the things that have been said about this new show, it seems that Rise will be telling the origin of the Turtles. Not that such a thing has never been showed off, in any of the prior animated shows, but GameSpot speculates that this is the explanation for things like the weapons being different or Raphael being the leader. Which actually is a pretty brilliant theory. I'm not saying it's confirmed, but it would help explain things, as GameSpot notes, that Raph and Michelangelo both trained with doo -doo 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 -doo, Tonfas and Kasari Fundos in the comics. To be specific, Raphael used Tonfas and Mikey used the Kasari Fundo in issue 9 of Eastman's original series. In that issue, it shows off the characters as preteens as Master Splinter trains them. So, if that's the basis for why Raphael doesn't have his size and Mikey doesn't get his ninchakas yet, it seems the fans could have jumped the gun on criticizing that particular element. Now, I, I can't really debate people on the art style. <laughs> That's always going to come down to a preference thing. But this little Miss tidbit, unsurprising given most fans only know about the cartoon series, should make you hold off on passing judgment on this before you ever see one single episode. If it doesn't sit with you after you see the show, then more power to you. I'm just asking if you all can just wait until you watch Rise later this year before or you claim it's utter crap. Thanks for watching, and take care.